Hi YouTube, this is Minnie and I am coming back on here to show you guys um, how I have been using my do-it-yourself hair conditioner that I created. I made a video about a week ago and I put it on my Facebook page and I talked about how um, I love this mix. I was trying to make my own conditioner and when I put it on my hair, I put a lot of it on it and so when I got into the shower, it was so thick <laughs> that I could barely rinse it out. But um, it was very greasy, but I just love the way it made my hair look. And um, it was eventually, you know, the greasiness did wear off. But I just love just how it um, just moisturized my hair so well. Um, some of the things that I have in it, um, I actually, right now, I'll jump back to that. But now I've decided to use it as a hair mayonnaise or something like that. But I have put it on my hair while it was dry and it's been on for about 15 minutes now. I'm gonna leave it on for another 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out with a shampoo bar that I created. Well, it's not really, it's just a, um, some homemade soap that I have made, but it's, um, has, it's the main ingredient is shea butter and I found that this particular soap just works it just it doesn't make my hair feel the way um, really dry um, because I know basically when you're using a lot of shampoo bars it kind of raises your uh, the pH of your hair because shampoo bars a lot of times they're 9 and 10 pH and your hair is closer to about about 6 5 or 6 something like that um, don't quote me on it but I just know that I when I use my shampoo bars I try to make sure that I come back and condition my hair with something that's going to uh, bring the pH back down to regular pH levels. And most of the time what I do is use a regular commercial um, conditioner. Um, but since I've start, uh, started kind of making my own hair products and skin care type products, I've decided that I wanted to make my own conditioner. And so I know a lot of times what people do when they make their own conditioners, they will use a um, apple cider vinegar rinse and I really don't want to use apple cider vinegar so what I decided to do was use um, aloe vera so that's what's in my mix this is what it looks like um, but I have the main ingredient is shea butter and it's actually yellow like that I know the lighting is kind of bad but it is kind of yellow like that but anyway my main ingredient is shea butter and then I have castor oil um, olive oil coconut oil and jojoba oil and also I have rosemary and rosemary essential oil and also lavender essential oils and um, so this is what it looks like after I've it's been in my hair like I said it's going on 20 minutes now but anyway I'm gonna um, wash it out or attempt to wash it out. I hope that it's not as <laughs> It's not as bad as before, but like I said, it was very greasy, but um, I decided to try to do more oil type treatments and moisturizing treatments for my hair because I've noticed that my hair will grow I've never had a problem with my hair growing and since it's been natural it has grown, but um, I just have split ends and since I can't stand them, I'll go ahead and cut them so I might get some good length. Like I've been to um, armpit length and it's about there now. But um, I'm, I'm trying to hold this on. But anyway, it's, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get to um, armpit length, but then I'll cut the split ends and try to even it all up. And so then I'm back up to. Um, to about shoulder length or whatever so I'm trying to work really hard in order to get past armpit length and also dealing with multi textures in my hair um, you can really see it with since I have so much oil in my hair right now but like on the sides and in the back my the curl texture is a lot tighter I don't know how well you can see that and it's really really tight but then on the top and then the front it's a whole lot looser and I don't um, straighten my hair at all but it's just 
that curl texture is just really looser at the top so you can see I got this stuff is so oily <laughs> but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get ready to wash this out and I'll come back thanks <laughs> 